Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Cafe Mix. No, the game is no longer called Mix. It is finally called Remix. The game actually updated on the 28th of October. Um, so if you guys have been following me on my other content, usually Uta Macross or in other stuff, um, you probably know that I've been sick recently. So technically, I was sick on the 28th when this live update uh, came around. I couldn't film exactly on the date that the game was um, reintroduced as Pokemon Cafe Remix. But here I am finally well and able to do this. So let's get down to taking a look at how the developers have actually changed the game's uh, systems and formats and of course how they decided to maybe attract more people to play the game. So let's take a look at what the improvements are. Alright, so we get introduced with the cafe. Good morning, I'm Leah and I'll be working with you starting today. Actually, you've been working with us for like, how long now? <laughs> Since I've been making videos? You must be owner. Yes, I am. And your name is... Wait, what? Oh, oh, you remember me. Okay. Well, it's not exactly nice to meet you. If you, if you guys know your Japanese, they probably said Hajime Mashite, which is basically nice to meet you for the first time. So I guess the English translations uh, left out the first time, considering that. Um, I guess the way she's greeting us feels like she is meeting us for the first time, but you know, she seems to remember my name. Uh, I'm so excited to create a cafe where all kinds of Pokemon gather. I'll do my best as your assistant. VV! Uh, this must be your Eevee. <laughs> we haven't even opened the cafe, but it's raring to go. Uh, I had a lot of Pokemon stuff. Don't tell me you guys fired all of them and then I'm only left with Eevee now. That's kind of cruel. <laughs> okay, uh, we love to open our doors, but first we need menu items. Um, it seems like some of the items that I had from my last playthrough are still all around like my acorn amounts are all there all right so let's take a look at this what's this now oh this is what we can make with Eevee right now oh new customers Rowlet and Piplop again wait our stuff really reset it uh oh if we develop new menu items new customers might come by why don't we head over to the kitchen and prepare that new menu item? Okay, so it seems like the layout is technically a bit different. Okay, so... Okay, I guess we really can't change the leader Pokemon. I really think they might have booted up all the past stuffs that I had. Okay, these icons represent the motivation of Eevee and the other Pokemon that will be helping you out. Try linking lots of EV icons and get everyone to pitch in on the order. Okay. Right, so it seems like it's technically the same. Link 10 EVs, that's very easy. Show you how to make a combo. But after all, it is still a tutorial. I wish that we didn't have to go through this whole tutorial thing. I mean, after all, we still have an existing account. You know, now it's your turn to try. Alright, here we go. Let's just link everything like a pro player should. <laughs> Alright, nice job linking the EV icons and making a combo. Alright. You created such a cute cafe latte. Uh, now we can open our cafe. V. Okay, ooh, what's this now? Oh, cool! New Pokemon will now be able to visit. If we develop more new menu items, new Pokemon will come visit the cafe. Cool. Look, it's a Rowlet. Perhaps it's heard good things about the cafe latte and decided to stop it. I think. The sparkling glitters we saw earlier were, were the smell of the food rather than the hurt. I don't think they probably can hear food, but... <laughs> and 
they were the first to, you know, notice the brand new thing in the cafe, so I don't think they would have heard from word of mouth. Hmm, who would have guessed that a Rowlet would be our first customer? Let's make this delightful customer feel welcome. Okay, so they don't line up in front of the cafe like we are used to. Yeah, it seems like the cafe is entirely resetted, so we don't have... We do have the back room though, so that's still a thing. Um, hmm. Oh well, let's take a look around. Oh, we can't even explore. In progress. Oh wow, we can actually see what's coming up next. Hmm. So it seems like now that Pokemon actually go up to the guest Pokemon and take their orders, unlike last time, where the Pokemon line up outside the cafe and you can see who's next. So that's pretty interesting. Um, you can change leaders once you've completed order number 4. Okay. Oh, you can actually see how the stage is set up now. Wow. Oh. There are different challenges. Cool. Okay. How do I exit? Alright, there we go. Okay, so it seems like the whole outlook on the game is very different. But the game mechanics are still the same. Well, at least for this point in time. Hmm. Alright, now I'll make combos next to the sugar cubes. Yeah, we know this already. Okay. Let's keep going. There we go, we got all the EV icons. Alright. Let's try to destroy it now. Oh, we missed the one snubble. Seems like there is no skill. Or maybe we've not unlocked it yet since we're still going through the tutorial. Oh! It continues on. You click the objectives and made a delicious menu item. To make it even more delectable, try clearing the additional objectives. Hmm. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. So this is new. So I guess instead of just one clear the stage, now they have like Oh, they decided to give the game like a different uh, difficulty setting. That's pretty cool. So at least it gives the game a bit of a replay value, you know, rather than what we've experienced in the past. If you want to get the 3 star rating on the stage, that's pretty cool. Okay, culinary masterpiece. There we go. Okay, it seems like the heart system is still pretty much the same. So if you want to recruit the Pokemon into your staff lineup, um, just have to make them happy to a certain level. And yeah, they eventually join you. Well, why don't we serve this pit plot something yummy and build a friendship with it as well. So yeah, it's, it's, I guess because right now the seats are available in the cafe, so that's why you don't see Pokemon lining up outside. Maybe we'll eventually see that happen. Note that every time you grab and release an icon, the move count will go down. Yep, so that's still the same. That's a lot of EV icons. <laughs> oh, we missed two. Oh look, the skill has returned. Okay. So oh, it looks like Eevee can use its cafe skill. Each leader Pokemon has a special power called cafe skill. Drag it to this spot and try whipping up the order in one go. Yep, so this we are very very familiar with. Okay. Seems the animation is the same. Okay, we get some new um, 
you know, effect sounds. So that's pretty nice. What is this? SP gimmicks? Sugar Cube is now EV's what? EV staff level was raised. Now it'll be even better at preparing drink and dishes. Really? When you prepare drinks and dishes, Pokemon can gain EXP and their staff level will increase. Once a Pokemon's level is raised, it can invent new drinks and dishes and tackle puzzles with an advantage. Mm. Okay, so that's pretty new. But I guess individual Pokemon have their own specials, specialties as well. Um, like last time, each of them have their own unique cafe skills, but this time around, um, even destroying certain ob um, obstacles can be a new thing as well. Alright, let's check out the new um, menu item we can develop. What is this now? This next menu item will attract these Pokemon. Okay, and perhaps Rowlet will give us a hint. Speaking of which, I think Rowlet might still be at a cafe. Okay, so let's talk to Rowlet. How do we talk to him? Like this. Wait, so... Oh! We don't really have to tap the Pokemon itself. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's start. So I guess we, in order to get some answers from Rowlet, we have to serve him up <laughs> a delicious treat. That's okay. So instead of beating her, beating him up in like some kind of violent video game, we we serve him tasty treats. Okay, that's very family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll link the icons to make a combo next to the shield cubes and activate its specialty gimmick. Check it out. Alright, here we go again. Oh, wow! Wait, what? Now that Eevee has mastered the sugar cubes, he can instantly destroy sugar cubes? You gotta be kidding me. That's so much better from the previous version of the game. Holy crap! That is so easy, oh my god. Okay, you cut sugar cubes using the specialty gimmick. Keep on using the specialty gimmick. Alright, so that is if we can actually reach all four. Oh, wait, what? It didn't clear the other side. Why? Strange. Okay, let's let's gather the squirtle icons because there seems to be a lot more. There we go. I mean, you could have used the cafe skill. At least the background music is still the same. Cool. Looks like Rowlet really, really enjoyed it. Huh? You want to help out the cafe as a way of saying thank you? What do you say? Let's have this Pokemon join us as a member of our staff. Okay. It seems like the recruitment animation is still the same though. <laughs> the outfit looks great. I wasn't expecting it to join our staff. How fantastic. Alright, now that we have Rowlet as our staff, ah, we can progress on. Oh. So the animation to introduce brand new menu items is new. It's pretty adorable as well. Oh, the staff members are like standing in the cafe together. Oh, that's cute! Unlike last time where we only had one um, Pokemon staff appear at the same time. Oh, that's pretty adorable. Okay, let's keep this going. Rowlet will be the leader for this round of the menu development. Okay. So it has sugar cubes. We can take a look at the stage. 8,000 points with 7 sugar cubes. They're all in the corner though. Um, 
So, oh, Rowlet's skill is towards the right, which is exactly what we need for this level, so that's fantastic. I mean, it's still a tutorial portion of the game, so they definitely will make it easy for us. Every Pokemon's cafe skill has different effects and clears Pokemon icons and gimmicks in different directions. Rowlet's cafe skill can clear Pokemon icons and gimmicks to the right. Use it where there are a lot of gimmicks to the right. Alright. Do this. Okay, all you have to do is just use this now. And we are good. So yeah, it seems like it's still possible to cover multiple lanes with the skill. So basically the default game mechanics are still around. And at least now this time we get to see like multiple Pokemon. Um, being attracted to the cafe at one go. I mean, last time they did release like two new Pokemon at one go, but it's always one at a time after you've unlocked certain um, special items in the cafe. So yeah, this is this is a lot faster in pace. All right, Rowlet skill was so cool. Let's make Rowlet the leader and have it make the next menu item. Okay, so we're gonna switch out. Set as leader. We're all set. Okay, so I wonder if we can actually change it like the last time. We just type the icons, but right now because we're in tutorial mode, um, it's restricting us on our free mobility around the game's mechanics. Unlike sugar cubes, dollops of whipped cream move around. The key is to make a combo next to dollops of whipped cream. Why are they saying dollops now? Why are you using sophisticated English? <laughs> Anyways, um, we are we're already used to the whipped cream, so let's let's just get down to business. Okay, now make combos next to the whipped cream. So look closely. Okay, we're gonna have to go through tutorials again. Yeah, you do what you do. I'm gonna do what I do. I'm just gonna grab the whole bunch of rollets. So that I can assure myself. At least now, they highlight the items that are being touched by the icon, so you don't have to worry about making mistakes, unlike the old game. So that's fantastic. Okay, we have lots of skills going around, so let's just conserve them for the future. Oh, did we? Oh, we, we didn't miss it. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, whipped cream can be cleared immediately with a skill. Use a skill to clear whipped cream. Okay, there we go. Oh wow, look at that. Four lane coverage. Well, it technically is three, but you know. Who's counting? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I did just that, right? <laughs> oh god. Uh, okay. Oh, it's nice that they have that. Um, sound effect for like the increase of the acorns we earn as well. At least now we don't get restricted to like um, 40 to 60 acorns um, per round I guess. Maybe in the future it will as the, the stages get more difficult. Each order has a specialized Pokemon that are best suited to clear it. For this order Eevee seems a good fit. Let's change the leader Pokemon to EV from here. Oh, so they actually tell you you can actually do that now. Unlike the old game where we accidentally found out about it. <laughs> That's so much helpful. Okay, so thank goodness. Okay, sugar cubes. Which one? Which are one of EV specialty gimmicks? If you link EV icons and make a combo next to a sugar cube, you can clear it immediately. Yep, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, here we go. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't destroy all the sugar cubes, even though we cover them. Which is kind of strange. Can we power up? Yes, we can. We can power up EV skill. They haven't taught us that, but we already know how. 
because we are veterans at this game. Oh, you got some whipped cream, your specialty gimmicks and skills to clear the objectives. Okay, so let's gather Eevee's icons to destroy the sugar cubes first. There we go. Okay, let's gather Rowlets. Fantastic. Okay, let's power up the skill. Let's destroy some of the whipped creams. Then let's destroy the remaining whipped cream and sugar cube. Fantastic. So it seems like no matter how many moves we have now, um, the acorn urn is based on the star attained. Um, for the stage itself. So the max is now 80. Okay, unlike last time, like each of the moves remaining gives you a certain amount of acorns. So that's kind of fair. And we have my boy Pipplup joining the crew so early in the game. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm done with this game. Thank you guys for watching. We are no longer doing Pokemon Cafe Remix. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, with my boy around now, I... All the more it makes me want to play even more stages. You know, I'd like to see at least maybe eventually like um, the whole pit plot, pit plot line of evolutions coming to the game. That would be cool. And of course, newer po What is this? Is this a new item? Like um, newer Pokemon from newer generations of Pokemon series um, adding into the game as well. No, I mean, we've seen Rowlet. He is from the recent gen so hmm. when your total staff meets the goal you can get rewards from Lear and perhaps even expand the cafe we have more Pokemon that can help out the cafe if we expand the cafe we could invite more customers hmm around here I hear that the timber can help us with the expansion why don't we ask them okay so the timber crew is still around Let's unlock the area. Here they go. Yep, so the cafe looks exactly the same as before. It's just that maybe this time around they have like all the accessories in already um, compared to last time where we had to build up the you know that section of the cafe. This is going to be great new space for our cafe. Why don't we just whip up something nice for the timber as a little thanks for their hard work. Burr. Alright. Okay, now that we have a new area, we can have more customers in the cafe. You can now choose which customer you want to take an order from. Choose a Pokemon you want to build a friendship with. So yeah, so this is pretty much new from what we are used to. In the past, we just take orders from whichever Pokemon is next up in line so if you really really like a specific pokemon you can actually befriend them to become your staff um, immediately instead of like going through a whole line of other pokemon before you get to your favorite so that's pretty fantastic so i want i wonder how the event is going to run i mean right now there is a current event that's for charizard that's going on so for the next order the peplup who just joined us looks to be a huge help Let's choose it from the specialties. Alright, my bro. Let's go. So adorable in the uniform. So yeah, they're actually making Pokemon Cafe Remix plushies already. So I'm really hoping to see it come to the Pokemon Center here in Singapore. Um, at Jewel. At Changi Airport. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are able to purchase these plushies. Maybe from the Pokemon online store if you guys are in the States or if you if you guys are from Japan. Um, you know, you can get them from your nearest Pokemon Center or pop-up pop shop, um, Pokemon Center um, mini stores. I know there are some of them in Japan. You know, they kind of stuff. Uh, with the rest of the world, maybe like what I did in the past, I imported the, the toys. Um, from Pokemon Center Japan um, yeah, they cost a bit more but you know if you like them you know uh, 
money doesn't really uh, stop you in some way. In some way, unless of course during this tough times, uh, finance is definitely an issue. Then hold on. In the future, maybe you might be able to buy them cheaper. Hopefully, they are not too rare to find. You know, if your Pokemon that you like isn't exactly that popular, unlike my Piplup. So, <laughs> um, and of course, Amazon Japan also is another way to probably help you get stuff uh, internationally. So yeah, make a lot of combos and Leah's Megaphone will appear. The Megaphone can clear a few icons in the direction that the arrows are pointing. So yeah, like I said, oh! Oh, the arrow designs are different now. That's pretty cool. Okay. So yeah. So in the past, a lot of my Pokemon plushies were mostly gained from... Um, initially, it was just um, through friends in Japan. And of course, when internet became a bigger thing, um, then Amazon Japan was the next thing. Okay. So let's use the megaphone. Can we get a double lane? There we go. There we go. Three star rating. I'm really enjoying this new take on Pokemon Cafe. Um, so that's that's a good thing. It feels a little bit more fair. It was only you and Eevee at first, but now we've got more Pokemon to help us out. And the cafe has gotten bigger too! Let's keep adding new menu items and attracting more customers and turn this cafe into a truly lovely space. Me! Raise a Pokemon's friendship level to have it join your cafe staff. You can develop new menu items when you gain staff members or raise your staff members' levels. New Pokemon will visit the cafe in search of new drinks and dishes. Let's recruit lots of Pokemon and make this cafe popular. I wonder if we'll have like some kind of... Oh, now we get login bonuses. Cool. So yeah, as you can tell, um, the login bonus ends on 1st of December 2021. Yep, the date um, arrangement is according to how I see it in my country and Japan as well. Usually they'll have the number of the day first before the month. Uh, I know it's different in the states where they usually have the month first before the day so sometimes reading the um, the dates can be a bit confusing um, and yeah the time is definitely following Japan's timing so normally the game resets at 2 p.m. in my time um, we are technically one hour um, I would say before Japan so yeah but apparently the timing set here is to my time so I don't know if the game is actually now um, reading the clock according to your mobile devices oh wow what is Lucario wearing or is it because of the Halloween theme going on all right so we've got a full control of the game right now so that's pretty fantastic so yeah like I said there was an event going on with Charizard right now so that's SP gimmicks is jeez and oh my god you can one destroy a pumpkin oh that is so insane pumpkins were so annoying back in the day what is this now there's new costumes for people oh god <laughs> no that's too cute oh no and then there's what October and November premium pass okay so if you want to get Lucario's um fancy looking costume you probably can pay for it Mew challenge is available oh wow so we are getting our first legendary well mythical actually let's go back to the menu development to check out our next go the next menu item to develop is oh Minchino is here right now and why don't we take an order and become friendlier with Minchino good idea Alright, so we have our specialty Eevee. Uh, like, let's take let's reverse back a bit and let's take a look around the cafe. So 
The screen does stretch out a bit more than normal and it seems it's focusing a bit more on the left hand side this time around so I guess the cafe is going to expand this way since there's the lock here. Let's claim our presents. Complimentary item. Why are there revives? They didn't have such items in the past. Okay, let's claim more of them. Interesting. So let's take a look at the shop. Just to just to have a quick glimpse. So as you can tell, my currency is in Japanese yen. Um, because right now my um, Apple Store account is actually under the Japanese one. Uh, most of my games are downloaded through the app, Japanese App Store. So yeah, after all, I'm doing Uta Macross. If you guys are following me for other contents on my channel, you would know that the main thing is definitely Uta Macross. So yeah, so the... Oh! If I want to get Piplup's costume, I have to buy this, which gives me 9,800 acorns. At the same time, um, Piplup's costume at the cost of 980 yen is roughly around um, 10 to 11 Singapore dollars for me. So yeah, it's almost about 10 US dollars. That's a bit expensive, a bit. Um, so yeah, where is where is the Lucario costume though? Um, maybe I don't have... Oh yeah, I don't have the mechanic yet because we are still not done with the Toro, I think. So let's get down to clearing the stages. As usual, I'll try to keep every episode to like 10 um, levels. So this very first episode for Pokemon Cafe Remix, we are going to reset the counter to the stages right here with this episode because it is considered a new game. So yeah. So let's gather Eevee's icon so we can get the skill to appear. We can use it to destroy the chestnut, which is exactly what we need to get that one star. There we go. Alright. So it seems like we need more Eevee icons to appear. Okay, we got EV skill to appear. Hmm. Okay, we can use Leah's megaphone to destroy the chestnuts first. There we go. And we need another 15 icons of EV to technically clear that last star. So it seems like the mission requirements for the stage is now graded by um you know the the I guess how well you do in the stage. There we go. So three missions. That makes the game very easy. I mean, it's technically the same thing, right? I mean, last time in the, when it was the Ca Pokemon Cafe, um, uh, Cafe Mix, it was still technically three missions. But this time around, they made it systematic. Like, you don't have to clear all three missions to clear the stage. Now you technically can just clear Maybe up to two if you can, that's all you can handle, and then you'll still be able to clear the stage. You can always redo the stage again to get the three star rating later on, I guess. So let's let's continue playing the game and eventually we'll figure things out. Alright, so it seems like Eevee has more mechanics. So wow, Eevee has like three different mechanics. Let's clear up the two chestnuts by making a combo next to them. So yeah, it seems like there's a maximum amount of stuff you can destroy. So that's why not all the sugar cubes were destroyed. So that's good to know. Alright, Minchino joins the crew. It's a lot of Pokemon joining in one video. Oh my goodness. Okay. This game is starting to get a lot more enjoyable compared to the last time. Alright, so Michino joins the crew and now we can create a new dish. Oh, it's the fluffy pancakes. Alright, new recipe. So our leader is Eevee. Yeah, we do have whipped cream and sugar cubes around. So that's why we need Eevee as our leader. Pretty straightforward. Okay, there's a lot of shoe cubes going around. So I guess the main thing right now is 
let's try to cover as much as we can, especially the Whip Cream since we don't have uh, gimmicks to help destroy the Whip Creams. There we go. Okay, so we have the skills. Let's destroy all the sugar cubes here. Okay, let's gather the Rowlets. We can destroy the Whip Queens. Well, technically everything right now. <laughs> so it seems like creation of new menu items, we don't have the star rating. We immediately have all three uh, missions requirements. So like the old days. So I guess that's the only thing that they have retained the difficulty you know, for creating brand new menu items. Alright, let's keep going. Um, so if you want to create new menu items, okay, we need Slurpuff. So let's go befriend Slurpuff. Oh, Eevee has stopped by. VV. It seems like these two are friends. <laughs> Maybe the uh, staff members will also bring in their friends. Isn't that exciting? Even after a Pokemon joins your staff, Pokemon of the same species may stop by. If you serve another Pokemon of the same species instead of raising your friendship level with it, you can get that Pokemon's cookies. Cookies? That sounds good. Cookies can be used to raise the, the max level of the corresponding Pokemon. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, so let's go back. So do Pokemon actually still queue up? No, apparently not. So they always go seat, um, seated on the cafe stools. So that's pretty nice. At least, I guess maybe that's a um, psychological thing that maybe the company is trying to do during this um, period of pandemic. <laughs> In, you know, to avoid clusters and all this kind of thing. That's, that's pretty cute considering that they did implement such a thing in the game. Alright, so let's move on to the next stage. Um, wait, can't we choose the Pokemon that we want? Oh, wait, wait. So, whoever is around... Oh, Slurpuff is not around. So that's why we have to play other Pokemon. Okay, so let's do Eevee then. Okay, we have our specialty going on. By linking megaphones together, you can combine them. Wait, what? You can do that now? The combined megaphone can clear more directions? That is so cool! Why didn't we have this mechanic in the past? I'll show you how to combine megaphones. Oh my goodness! That makes for such interesting plays now! Oh goodness gracious me! Okay, so let's combine them again. And let's do this. We can't, we can't do a 3 lane clear, that's kind of a bummer, but that's fine. We do need score, so let's gather all the EV icons and destroy the shoe cubes with our gimmick. Lovely. Alright, 3 stars once again. I wonder when we will start struggling. <laughs> Not that I'm asking for it, but it'll be interesting. Okay, we got 3 cookies. Alright, who else is around now? Rowlet, we do need Rowlet, we do need Minchino and especially Slurpuff. Uh, Minchino is around. Okay, let's do Minchino then. Okay, Rowlet. I wonder when Rowlet will learn his spe um, gimmick specialty. What level does he need to be? Hmm. Okay, let's gather the Minchino since there's so many of them around. Um, let's, oh, we missed out on a few whipped creams, but that's fine. Clearing the Pikachus because there's a lot of them. Okay, let's gather more Rowlets and hopefully if we can, let's push the chestnuts close to each other so we can use Rowlet's skill. 
we go and destroy everything that's currently on the field. Oh, we're done. That was quick. Wait. Oh, we're going to the two stars. Okay. I was wondering for a moment why. Um. Oh, the move counter stays. That's interesting. Oh wait, I missed out on the chestnut. Oh. Okay, let's just use this to clear it. <laughs> that was such a wasted move. Oh well. And then the game is still pretty easy and the max amount of chestnuts you can earn is still technically 80? Considering that the new star um you know mechanic is around, so having as many moves remaining doesn't really matter. I wonder when we will learn the first gimmick. Level 3! Oh, so the next level. Cool. More cookies. Oh, <laughs> my throat gave way. <laughs> um, are the orders getting a bit tougher? Not really. If so, let's train with Pokemon. Oh, we're still going through tutorials. In training, you get a bonus um, depending on the day of the week. At this special time, it looks like any Pokemon can get a training bonus. Let's choose Rowlet from the staff. You can train Pokemon and raise their levels. You can train Pokemon by tapping here. Oh, so that's what the revives are for. Oh. Okay. So let's get a lot of the Togepi's. Alright, Squirtles. There's a lot of them as well. Okay. Let's get a more Rowlets. Since Rowlet skills goes towards the right, maybe let's conserve them. Let's see how far I can stretch. There we go. So we can destroy all the sugar cubes and the chestnuts at one go. Fantastic. And now let's just get out the Togepi because there's I think there's more stars coming our way. So let's just conserve that for now in case we need them later on. Fantastic. Okay, as you can see on the right side, our previously attained helpful items are all still locked because I guess we're still going through the tutorial mechanic, so that's why it's still locked. Let me squeeze that in. There we go. Fantastic. So we just need the score. So who is uh, the most icons? Let's just go with the router. And there we go. Why is it blue stars though? So, different... I guess different puzzles or different things give you different colored stars. <laughs> okay. So I guess the blue stars con are considered EXP stars. There we go. So we have our first gimmick for Rowlet. Okay. Rowlet's staff level was raised. Good job with the training. So now leveling up your Pokemon is going to help you out with your regular levels. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so we do have a new recipe now. Okay, Rowlet's our boy. Chestnuts. Oh, so it's gonna attract Slurpuff. Cool. Rowlet's specialty gimmick of clearing nuts has been activated. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's gather some Rowlet icons. Okay, let's conserve some of the icons later for the ones below. Okay, here we go. We do need the score, so let's get all of them now. And we're done. Easy as that. So 
So not all recipes will attract double Pokemon. I guess they want to make things exciting um, for the start of the game, so they had two Pokemon for the first two menus. Alright. Here's what I got. Wow, that's a lot of free stuff. Cool. Now that we have more staff members, we can serve more customers. I have an idea. Why don't we ask Timber to... Oh, already? In one episode, we expand twice? Wow. So yeah, this episode turns out to be a very long one. So I apologize for such a lengthy episode. But thank you guys if you guys have actually watched up to this point. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this game. I am definitely enjoying the new refreshing take on this game. Wait, what? I can unlock another one already? Seriously? That's very fr very fast progression. Oh my goodness. What? A third one? Is it because of my previous account? Are we getting full control of the game now? So I guess if you guys are new players, you probably won't expand as quickly as I am in this episode. Um, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. So I guess old school players like me have this advantage. Oh wow, we are really opening doors. And the server has resetted. Yes, at this point of time, it is now 2 p.m. in my country. So that's where the server resets. So you get to see two login bonuses collected. <laughs> Alright, infinite stamina. Oh, if you so there's another 14 minutes for this infinite stamina. And it's in the icon of a max revive. Interesting take on all the Pokemon items. Alright, so let's claim all the free stuff. Very, very nice. Uh, let's take a look at the shop again, if anything has changed. Nope. And this is on standby still. That's pretty interesting. Okay. So, oh my goodness. All my old Pokemon are back. Oh, the new ones are here. So we have Sneasel, we have Mew, we have Oshawott. So, wow, look at that. All my old buddies are back. Cool. Okay, so are we on order number 10? So let's make this our last order um, before we call it an end for this episode. Unlock. We need 5,000. Okay, we have lots of it from the last um, play data, so why not? Um, okay, I guess we can probably get some cookies for Slurpuff to level up. So let's do this. So I guess there isn't really exactly any um, need to record the game anymore in a specific order number because technically you can play any um, Pokemon that you wish right now in this game so maybe from here onwards um, I will release Pokemon Cafe Remix uh, episodes accordingly um, to events I guess um, or maybe I might move the game to a live stream style of format considering that it will give me more chance to fully play the game uh, unlike last time um, where it was kind of exhausting to keep up with all the numbers that are currently available for play um, so yeah, let, guys let me know your thoughts on how you would like to see this series go forth from here. I, I think having it as a live stream thing is um, a better option. Um, you know, so 
at least you guys can play along with me when events do occur, that kind of stuff. So let's. Oh, they're asking us to use the items. Cool. <laughs> so they're teaching us how to use them now. Uh, we didn't really use them in the past, so that's probably the main reason why they're teaching us. Okay. Alright, can we reach all of them? Yes, we can! And we are good! So easy. Oh! We got full control of the menu screen now. Along with Evie and others, we came up with some goals for the cafe. We'll check them out. Do they have daily goals now? Oh yeah, they've got some kind of like a battle pass thing. Ah, so it's pretty similar to Pokemon Unite now and other mobile games where they have like a weekly or monthly challenge and you can buy to unlock the items below with a certain amount of money. Uh, it's kind of like a subscription-based thing. Oh, here's Lucario's costume. Okay. How much is it? 1,100 yen? So that's technically about 12 to 13 Singapore dollars. Or technically uh, 11 USD. Uh, that's not too bad. Considering that the premium cost lasts for months. So basically you're paying technically about 12 US dollars. Or 11 US dollars um, per month so that's not too bad I mean if you are a diehard fan of the Pokemon franchise of course if you have too many games under your belt like myself you might skip out on certain things unless of course the featured costume is your favorite Pokemon so this month I might skip out considering that Lucario isn't exactly my boy if it's got anything to do with penguins they've got me cornered <laughs> So anyway guys, that's it for this episode of Pokemon Cafe Remix. What do you guys think of the new um, style of the game? Has it gotten you hooked a bit more to play? Because it now needs you to grind um, you know, your Pokemon, your staff levels. And of course, um, unlocking all the gimmicks for all the current Pokemon that you already have on hand. If you are an old player, like myself. Um, it gives you a bit more versatility in terms of um, what's next to play. If you're a new player, what do you guys think of the game mechanics? Is it interesting for you guys? Also, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, and, you know, what do you have installed for yourself to unlock all the Pokemon that we all players already have? What are available for you guys to unlock that um, you have and you are not able to get um, unlike us old players who might have a few of them that are exclusive event Pokemons. Um, let me know everything in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode of Pokemon Cafe Remix. Uh, I don't know when the next one will be. Uh, like I said, I might consider shifting this game series towards um, a live stream format, maybe on Twitch or even here on YouTube. Who knows? Um, I'll decide on a platform in the future. I would definitely love to revive my Twitch account because it's been really um, gathering dust there for a while now. So guys, thank you guys so much as always. Make sure you leave a like, share this video, especially for those of you who want to spread the love of Pokemon Cafe Remix now that the game is revamped into this very, very friendly, playable game format now, unlike the old um, Pokemon Cafe mix. Um, and of course, get your friends enticed to join you guys in playing because I think there is a team battle as well. It seems like it's not um, highlighted for me. And of course, now that we are able to do pass orders, unlike the previous game, this is excellent. It is really, really excellent. So guys, I'm very grateful for developers to rethink on how they can reconstruct this game it is a lot more lively now. It really, really makes me want to play more. I might play a bit more on my own time. I might revive my Switch account as well. 
and play maybe a bit more on there and I keep my mobile account just for you guys like I did in the past um, so yeah guys I'll see you guys in the next who knows video or stream until then bye